Hi, this is Amanda Barrow from the Kakashu Parish Public Library, and today we have a special craft for our crafter noon. And I'm Sarah Cooley, and our special craft today is going to be forged art. This craft is inspired by the artist Flora Forager. If you'd like to see more of her work, you can go to floraforager.com. So for forged art, you want to go outside and forage. You want to go and find leaves, flowers, weeds, rocks, anything that might make a beautiful picture. Beware of poisonous plants such as poison ivy or poison oak and you may need to rinse off any items you bring in because they can track in mud. If you're not keen on using outside items you can also use craft store items. Rocks, bark, twine, all those things are also available in craft stores. A cautionary warning, look out for bugs and snails and any little critters that might be found outside on your plant items. No need to worry about our stowaway. He was returned home after he was discovered. You place the items as you would when you glue the items, just to make sure everything looks right before actually applying the glue. The next step is to actually apply the glue and the items to the cardstock. You want to choose a good craft glue that can act as a sealant. In this video, we are using popsicle sticks instead of paintbrushes in case they would ruin it. You can also use Q-tips if you don't have popsicle sticks around. Don't be afraid to get creative with your approach. Flower petals can be easily torn from flower and arranged into a beautiful pattern. And you can also cut shapes from flowers and plants with scissors. It can be tricky to move some of the tinier objects, so if you have any issues, I would recommend using tweezers. Once you're done gluing all the items and you have your picture set permanently, you need to allow for some dry time. Once the item is dry, it should be transparent and the glue should look like a glaze. I have a fish and a starfish and a sea urchin swimming around and I also created this lovely woodland scene where we have a bird and a bunny getting charmed by a squirrel. Now you can do so much with these materials, the possibilities are endless, so I highly suggest you go out and start yours today. Here is my finished product of a campground in the desert and remember you can get these items outside as you forage them or you can get them from the craft store. Thank you for joining us today and go to our Facebook page for more events.